Hello YouTube. Let's go with Boy Ghoul here. Uh, I just beat the crash battle. Uh, Hellhouse. First time beating a solo crash battle. I did the co-op earlier. Um, thanks to some people in Smelly Octopus's Discord. Uh, lots of great Discords out there where you can find co-op help for these types of battles. Um, that's one of them. Well hey, here I am. Uh, I've been trying the solo crash battle myself for the last few hours. I recorded myself doing it. I wasn't talking while I'm, I was doing it. Um, but here's my recording. I'm just going to kind of talk over it as the battle goes. Uh, I go kind of quick through my setup here. So if you want to see any of the stats or anything, I do go through it all quite thoroughly, I believe. And you can just pause to see anything that I used. Um, I... Now, mind you, I did go the of all banners. I did go the hardest on the Sephiroth and Lucia Bald Eagle uh, banner way back when. This one, where you got a uh, his ice outfit. So I've got Edge Wings to Ob8, and that's my second best weapon I own next to Bald Eagle Ob10, which is the best weapon I own. And then I've got Absolute Royale right there, which is probably uh, my third best, maybe tied with Tifa's Motor Drive. But that's not in use for this. Regardless. Um, Lucia's debuffing and do secondary DPS, Sephiroth is straight DPS, Barret is, uh, just pretty much focused on healing and building defense, and something else on, uh, Lucia here I noticed, I did, I had this outfit to give her magic attack, because I'm using magic attack for her, because Hellhouse takes more magic damage, uh, and her third slot just boosts ice, um, instead of physical like her gun is so you can totally throw blizzard on there and they'll still do great but i had her outfit on here to build magic attack but here right here right if i pause that uh i actually didn't need it if i lost five magic attack here she would have still had a 26 magic attack which would have still been level four and it would have made no difference for magic attack i didn't notice this till after the battle <laughs> funny enough uh, i could have used her marks queen like the free outfit that you get uh, from the story mode, the purple one, and would have given her a little bit more attack too. Um, just something I noticed after the fact. So, this team wasn't perfect here. Um, I just stacked as much healing as I could on Barret, and other than that, like, his defense and HP just kind of pushed him through it, like his base defense and HP, with the, the free, well, not free, but with the, uh, gear exchange for the fiery cape there okay well hey we've been through this let me let me get let's get into the battle here i'm excited all right hell house so it took me a couple hours uh trying it over and over again i wasn't using baird at first sephiroth and lucia never left my party but i was using Aerith at first with her new out outfit and the snowflake but that wasn't that wasn't getting me too far. I was only getting about halfway through it. Then I tried replacing her for Tifa because I have OB6 uh, Kaiser Knuckles to bring magic defense down by three. And her lifeguard wraps to heal, but that wasn't cutting it either. So then I started doing this and making it much further, and I'm like, this is the team. This is it right here. So as you noticed at the beginning of the uh, match, I uh, used Stalwart Faith on Sephiroth right away to get his hit in with higher magic attack. While Lucia did her physical attack with Bald Eagle. And then I threw Stalwart Faith on Lucia after, just in time for her to throw her first Lazara. These agitations aren't necessary for the first couple. It's the, his third big physical attack that was getting me, and agitation started getting me past that. Um, so, it's not necessary. However, if you can get the agitation in before these physical hits, then you won't have to heal as much. So, there's that. Um... I don't know if I ever even ended up using that Blizzara blow with Barret. He, he's basically just focusing on buffing uh, magic attack, buffing physical defense, and curing. Actually, curing first and foremost. And I'm sure he, he throws a few fire breaches here and there when necessary. Helps with Ifrit's hit and, and so on. But uh, Lucia and Sephiroth are both using their area of effects. Uh, Lucia's got the free AoE fire weapon from the Final Fantasy IX event. Uh, Vivi's gun. Um, players new to Steam, if they started on day one of Steam, they might have been able to get a copy of that uh, if they rushed it. But uh, if not, uh, Sephiroth's got his AoE fire sword 
Um, the Crimson Blade. Or prototype. Anyways, yeah. Uh, I used both. I don't think you really need both. Oh, here's here's the thing too that I was doing. I was using um, Rama here to take out these waves, but you don't need to. Uh, even with just one AOE hit, AOE hit and the other person doing single hits, you can target these bombs and kill them before they burst for the most part. I think I, I got blown up once or twice trying it that way, but for the most part you get through them. And uh, I actually ended up saving Diamond Dust for like the end because there was once I made it really far and then two of my guys died and it was just Sephiroth hitting him with Aerial Frostblades over and over again and I didn't have my summons. So, I mean, I just knew that if I launched my summons at a certain point later on in the fight, then uh, I would have gotten through that, um, his fiery phase. So, that's why I'm holding on to Diamond Dust and I... Uh, I forget when I use Judgment Bolt, but it's not a big deal. You might not even need Judgment Bolt if you wanted to throw um, Mind Blow or something like that. Or, you know what? Mind Blow brings defenses down. It would bring Magic Defense down if you used Mind Blow. So that, that would be another good option for Barret. Instead, you don't really need Rama. Okay. Now here, I use a Hellfire to try to help take down the fire. Judgment Bolt was pointless here. It doesn't do the fire meter. It did a bit of damage, but... Hey, I got through the fight anyways, didn't I? Right? But... Oh man, this is exciting. I am pumped. Right? You get so much great dopamine from beating these hard battles, you know? You put so much effort into them. Grinding them over and over again, all your time, effort, money if you're a dolphin or a light spender or a whale. You know, it's just exciting. Exciting. I'm sure it's just as exciting for free to play if... Stuff like this is possible free to, for free to play. You know what? My Barret is almost free to play, and their kits on the back of them are almost all free to play weapons. You can probably do this with a Bold Eagle that's not OB6. Um, as for the DPS, I'm not certain if you need an OB6 um, Edged Wings for Sephiroth. You might be able to use an Aerith instead of Sephiroth if you went for her more recent Ice costume and you have Snowflake. Uh, I would think maybe it should be at least OB6. You'll bring that magic defense down. But hey, maybe you can do it with Snowflake without uh, it being OB6. I'm not sure. You know what? Leave a comment if, you, uh, if you're if you free to play and you're beating this or almost beating it. Actually, leave a comment uh, if you're not free to play too. <laughs> leave a like. All right. So here's where it gets tricky. And I, I only started making it this far once I put Baron in my team. All right, here I kind of let the fire, the other fire phase with the fire meter. I kind of took my time with that one, just killing the ads. But this this phase here, I'm like, no, just straight DPS, as much DPS as I could possibly get in. Uh, with Sephiroth, all, all my big hits, we need to take down that ice meter as quick as possible this time. It's not a little bit different. So we do not want to be hit by this jet stream. So. If you notice like, his little attack meter, if you take out his fire or his ice meter when he's like three quarters of the way done, he'll still finish it and he'll still get his jet stream or his, his physical attack off. Uh, it's a pain. So you really gotta you really gotta finish the meter as early as possible if you're trying to prevent getting attacked by these things. And you can survive some of those hits, but if you're not like three quarters or full of your health, uh, depending on how much defense you have too, it's really risky. So here's where I started pumping off the uh, the summons. You know, I knew it's it's all or nothing at this point. Like, we gotta start doing damage. Now I start moving around. As you probably noticed, I barely left off Barrett this entire fight. Maybe at the beginning to throw some attacks around because Sephiroth and Lucy are a little lazy at the beginning. They don't know whether to use Aerial Frostblade or Diving Burst or they just don't do any of it. So I did that manually. But. It's pretty much just all Barrett's work here. Here we go. Now I don't even focus on the ads. I'm like, let's go. Take him out. <laughs> I don't think this Judgment Bolt finished him either. It's not very strong against the Hellos. Hurt the ads. didn't even finish them either. Like I said, you could use Mind Blow instead there. Nice. 
Bravo, Ghost Boy Ghoul. Bravo, Ghost Boy Ghoul. No. <laughs> I was so happy. I'm still so happy. It's exciting. Anyways, that's my run. Um, I wish you guys all the luck in your runs. Like I said, it's my first solo crash I've cleared. And, uh, man, I really don't... Uh, I didn't expect to be able to beat these. I, At the rate I play this game, which is almost 24-7... And it's more so the rate of my luck and how I spend money on the game, I guess. I haven't beaten any of the previous solo crashes, so I just didn't expect to beat this one. And I am definitely not saying go out and spend two, three hundred dollars to try to get stuff to beat this, because chances are you're going to blow the money and you're not going to get the right equipment. So don't do that. I'm just saying if you've already got the equipment, that and give it a shot. Maybe, hopefully, my video... Helped give you some ideas. Of course, not everybody's teams are going to be the same. Everybody's going to have different equipment. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment if, you, um, if you're close, if you beat it, if you have any questions, if you have any ideas, anything I could have done better. Um, give me a follow here on YouTube. On Twitch, I'll leave the link in my description. Uh, give me a follow on Twitter. And yeah, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. Take care.